much about um sorry i'm gonna mute you actually because it's hurting my ears or can you mute yourself thank you so um i don't like to sketch super like refined because for me i like leaving like big shapes and big ideas in my images and i could like refine it later on if i really wanted to and the thing about landscape painting, especially plein air, is that you only have a limited amount of time. So you just want to try to be as fast as you can. Um, you might see my dogs pop in a little um, once in a while. So my pen is running out of ink. I'm going to switch to pink. This is why. Uh, traditional kind of is annoying to do too because there's a lot of factors that can actually cause you to mess up. For digital, I guess the only thing that can really mess up is if your Cintiq breaks or your tablet breaks and also uh, if your Photoshop crashes. But traditional, there's a lot of factors. Okay, I swear my pen was working earlier. I'll use orange now. So I just rough in a composition. As you, as you can see, I'm using really simple shapes like rectangles and circles or ellipses um, to kind of sketch in my thing. Sometimes I like to switch over to my left hand because my right hand hurts when I lift it too much. So I'm just sketching in something super loose. Um, the next thing that I like to do is I personally like to start off with the sky. I don't know why, but I do. I think it's a habit. So I'm starting to mix my, my blue, uh, or it looks kind of purple to me in sky right now. So I'm just going to start blocking it in. Like if you put a little bit of it down, you can see that it's too dark. And gouache sucks because it dries even darker. So I'm going to keep adjusting it until it's the... the desired values and I think maybe I like starting off with the sky because it's a big piece of the painting so I can determine how my values look like against the sky. Um, I'm going to ignore the house on the side because my house is more important. So, And then the main focus should be the water because I'm technically painting water, right? So yeah, like I said, the sky is kind of a purplish tone to me. You guys can paint it however way you want it. There's no right or wrong. Colors are always relative anyway, so it might be purple to me, it might be turquoise to you. There's not, don't, don't feel pressured to get it right. Just stop caring, you know. So I kind of got a base color in. I think it's okay. I think it could go a little bit more red. So I'm going to mix in a little bit more opera. Is it red or pink? I forget. But um, to kind of indicate the clouds, I'm going to go slightly darker. So I'm going to use alizarin in this mixture. If you look at the image, the edges of the clouds seem to like go warmer. And then where the light's peeking through, there's uh, more blue. You guys can unmute any time to ask me questions. Because I tend to ramble, so. Don't, don't refine things too much either. And you can overpaint. I actually like overpainting too. I kind of learned that when I was oil painting. So if you guys are getting into traditional, I highly recommend switching between mediums because Personally, I think it helps you learn a few different things. So if I just stuck to gouache, like I feel like some of the techniques I use, probably um, they would not have happened. So I added a little bit of yellow on the bottom. I have a question. Yeah. Uh, when you say overpaint, do you mean like noodle a lot and do details or just lay the paint thickly? Um, I mean to like lay it into the sections you drew, so don't feel too precious with your paints. 
you can kind of like go into the other section. So like I overpainted to this house so I could um like when I paint over it, it's okay to have some of that blue in there, if that makes sense. Um, so that is a brown that you guys see up there for um, this area. But if you look closely, um, because of the light in the sky, I'm going to mix in a little bit of blue. So this might be too dark. Um, the cool thing about gouache is you usually have like puddles of color from your previous mixes. Too bad you can't see my palette, but um, here, let me see if I could. My mixing, oh, hold on, sorry. I'm really bad at this, but okay. I'm almost there. So you can see how um, gouache is really cool because there's puddles of color. So this is the lightest area. This is the middle area. This is the dark cloud area I had. Um, now I'm mixing the um, brown part of the house, and I'm just basically taking the brown, mixing it in with the blue. So um, this is the advantage of traditional over over um, like digital, in my opinion, where you can have like relative colors to one another because you have these puddles to mix from. And um, yeah, let's go. So in the initial phases of my painting, like I don't really care if it looks good especially when it's plain air, because like I said, you have such a limited amount of time. What you're really trying to focus on is the fact that you're getting the important color notes down. So I'm just trying to like label everything properly. Um, so when I work from a photo, it's more clear to me um, how to micro tweak the shapes. So um, another cool thing about gouache is you can kind of paint over stuff. And then it has a really nice, like, transparency. It's kind of like watercolor, but better. Sorry, Kim. Um, next color or chunk that I'm going to focus on is this nasty yellow. Oops. So the thing about um, our house, I call it the clown house because... Um, the previous um, owners of this house painted it like 25 colors. I'm not even joking. There was like a house, like there was a room in here that was like blood red. And I was just like, what is going on with this house? So, I mean, I guess it's kind of fun to paint, but I'm definitely not high when I'm painting it, guys, because this is just how it looks like. Um, so... Okay, see, this is the thing about planar too. Sometimes you have an overcast day and then the sun pops out, but don't let that stop you. Don't chase the light. Always stay true to the initial idea that you were starting with. So I'm going to mix the dark side. Um, on an overcast day, I don't think the temperatures shift as much, but since there is a little bit of blue, I am going to make this side cooler. And like you, you could see, I'm using like a big fat brush because um, like I'm just really trying to focus on the big shapes and ideas. Oh, I found a new favorite color. Um, this is really good for painting water. It's called Iridescent, Iridescent Electric Blue. It's by Daniel Smith. So I'm just going to do this part. Mark it black. Um, by the way, everybody's plain air paintings are turning out so great. Or plain air bulb. I know um, some of us have to stay indoors, whether it's because of our busy schedules or anything, but everybody's doing a great job. It's very inspiring. There's one right now of my kitchen. Really? You're painting one of your kitchen? Yeah, I'm painting like a setup in my kitchen. Like I did like, uh -huh. a little composition in my kitchen. And uh -huh. the center. The focal point is going to be like the gas stove because fire. And I'm going to paint it <laughs> nice. where the gas stove is on so I can paint the fire and then turn it off. Oh, nice. Can't wait to see it. Yeah. What? Amanda. Oh, what's uh, up? If I have let my palette, basically, I only come back to my palette every April, so and then it dries out a lot. Wow. Is How could you say this in front of us? 
Wow. Is it possible to rehydrate paint, or do I need to like eat it and just? I just tried to find out how to do and I'll like, rehydrate. Um, sorry, I couldn't hear the last part because I heard a lot of echo. I to, like, uh, squeeze like new paint on top of the old paint and try to like sort of mix them together, like the same color. But I, I do that. It should work. It should work. Okay. It should work. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just like spritzing them extra, so in between. Nice. Yeah, it should be fine. Um, so I'm kind of like trying some new stuff this year for plain air brawl. Um, not saying painting got like boring, but sometimes if you keep doing the same things, at, at least for me, like it becomes like so stale. So. I don't mind if I really mess up this year and paint some really fugly paintings. But, um, yeah, we'll see how it works. Um, so right now, basically, I'm reserving the saturation for the pool. Even though it's such a small section, I think it's a little bit of a problem because I made the proportions too even. But, you know, it's digital. I'm traditional, so I can't do much. <laughs> um... I'm going to make this floor more purple right now. So it's um, the color lilac. Oops, sorry. Hit the thing. My brush is too big right now. So um, you can see the light in the background. It just keeps coming in and out. Just ignore it. It's just like, do what Kaylee does to me. Ignore me. So just joking. Hey, everybody. OK. Um, now, so like I, I think when we're painting gouache, especially, there's kind of like an ugly phase, you know. Um, and I feel like my paintings are constantly in that state, so you just got to be patient and like figure out the right keys to um, add in, like the right puzzle pieces to add in to make it work. And I'm still using the puddles on my canvas to mix these colors. Oh, I like this big chimney. Yeah. You're, you're breaking up a little bit. I can't hear you. Hello? I'm going to make this side warmer because technically it's facing the lighter side. Um, there's this black thing in the back. That's Kaylee's um, ceramic sink that she hasn't used for like over an year. And um, it's a really good mosquito breeder. Thank you so much, Kaylee. I got a lot of mosquito bites because of that. But let's be sure to paint it in for good times. That's probably going to be the one of the darkest values, probably a little bit too dark right now. Um, so when I'm painting too, I'm also comparing the values so I can know how dark to go. Don't forget about that. Yeah, I'm like, I'm so popular with mosquito guys. Don't be jealous. I get like 20 bites in one night. It's not even funny. I hope you have lots of calamine lotion then. Oh, does calamine help? Yes, I think so. Oh, okay. I should get some. Mosquitoes actually make me homicidal. <laughs> me too. I hate them. I, I just go, like, I rage if I get too many mosquito bites. I'm like, Kaylee, just don't talk to me! It hurts too much. So, um, okay. Right now, I'm trying to, like, line in the reflection area of the pool. So um, when I'm looking at it, I don't know if the photo shows, but um, basically I'm trying to capture the temperature difference. Because if you squint, squint your eyes, especially at the pool, um, I think we're focusing more on temperature shifts and color hue shifts rather than um, values and uh, uh, anything else. So just remember it's like hue, which stands for color. So it's like red or blue, turquoise, and then the... Temperature is basically, is it like the cool version of that color or is it a warm color of that version? So think about it like this. Um, 
Actually, I, I kind of like how I made this side cooler and this side warmer. So I'm just going to keep it like that. But I'm going to try to do the same thing for the pool. Um, I'm going to keep everything rather simple. So the complexity will be focused on the pool side. Now I'm going to switch to a round brush um, from my homies at Windsor and Newton. Blah. This is actually a really good brush. Um, it's the Professional Watercolor um, Synthetic Sable Round from Windsor and Newton. Oh, that, I can't talk sometimes. All right. We're using the brush right now. Oh, cool. Twinsies. <laughs> I actually so, like it less than this super cheap one, like synthetic one, but whatever. Oh, yeah. I, I like the synthetics, too, because I don't feel too precious with them. Like, I'm just like, you know what? If I mess them up, I can get another one. I don't have to pay $100. Sometimes the cheap brushes are actually my favorite. I was wondering if you keep uh, one clean water or, or have one water the whole time. Um, I have the same water the whole time, but I know everyone's different, so... Um, you could try it to see what works with you. It's just a hassle, especially when you're plain air painting. Like, you have to carry so much stuff. My back cannot not handle that anymore. You be sure to stand up and stretch, guys. Right now. Just joking. Keep painting. Okay. So, um, right now these valleys are a little bit dark. So remember, like... Plain air painting too, you have to reserve an area to focus on. So, um, um, I'm just gonna slightly indicate how I wanna draw the rocks. So, I painted this so many times. I paint this every year and then it never gets easier. Who hates painting? Raise your hand. I can't see, but I feel like it's a lot of you guys. We all love and hate painting, just like you, <laughs> Angela, I think. Yes, yes. It's okay. We can suffer together. This is why the challenge was created, right? So we could suffer together, guys. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So, like, you guys can see, I'm not, like, drawing in, like, oh, my God, and this is kind of where the shadow is. I'm just drawing big shapes. And like you only have a certain amount of time, so focus most of your energy on shape design. Ow. Okay. I'm analyzing everything, so sometimes I might have a quick break just to think a little. Okay. I'm going to start tackling the dark side of this water. I really want this color to kind of pop against this. of planning do you feel like you do like before at the beginning versus throughout I, I think for me I'm kind of like a chaotic painter as you guys can hear my like internal monologue like I think I just like to figure things out on the fly so sometimes it really works and I'm lucky but most of the times it's just like a really fugly painting so <laughs> <laughs> um but then I feel like for me yeah it, it works out better because um then I could figure out like, okay, that worked for me. And, oh, this really didn't work out for me. If that makes sense. Yeah, I'm like the type of person that likes to make mistakes. So I can humiliate myself and be like, oh my God, remember that time you added that trash can in front of the train? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I always tell this story to every like class I teach. But um, one time I was at Travel Town in Burbank. And um, I was really proud of myself. I painted this nice train. I, I thought it was nice at the time. And um, Kaylee walks up to me. I'm like, hey, babe, look at this painting I painted. I think I got a little bit better. And she just looks at it and she's like, are you stupid? Why did you add the trash can in front of it? And then see, like, I never add, I, I'm, I don't add my, um, my sketchbook up here anymore. So, you know, those mistakes, it might hurt at the moment, but for the long run, they're really good investments in yourself. I'm sure it's a great investment in yourself to have that kind of negative self-talk. It sounds really positive. <laughs> oh, no, no. I mean, hey, we're artists. I feel like a lot of us aren't too nice to ourselves, so. 
No, but Kaylee, Kaylee, I love Kaylee. She helps me a lot. Um, Kaylee's my wife. She's also the one that posts all your paintings. She does all the like um, writing for um, the rules and everything. So let's give Kaylee a round of applause. Yay! Good job, Kaylee. <laughs> Thanks Thank for you, all your hard work. <laughs> While I'm here saying she makes fun of me. <laughs> I feel just like your, instead of your negative self voice is just Kaylee's voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's it's better if it's that than myself. So okay, so I'm starting to indicate like the reflection. So um I I feel like you can imagine like water as an overlay filter on Photoshop, right? So it can be like you're overlaying this color with a channel mixer, but like it's turquoise that is the solid color. So um, I don't know if that makes sense, but it kind of made sense in my mind. So even for this reflection here, there's going to be more yellow, especially where it's closer to the, um, the building itself. So like right here. Oops, too dark, too muddy. Add a little bit of white. Who's heard this saying before? Oh, you're not a great painter if you use black. Yeah. I, I use black. Avoid black. <laughs> you guys should just um, focus on colors that work for you. Um, these things are just like theories. But if that theory doesn't work for you, you know, just use whatever color you want. The world's a rainbow, okay? You could use it any way you want. Oh, you're not a great painter if you use black. I haven't yeah. heard that. Yeah. But I've heard like, oh, I you black. can't use black just because you rely on it too you much. Guys should just... Yeah. Yeah, some people will say that. Wait, you uh, broke up a little bit. Sorry. Uh, there's a question from people who can't unmic uh, and are DMing me. <laughs> um, was the under, uh, under like casein or gouache? Um, gouache. If you do it really thin, like don't paint like thick, like you're rich, you know, like that's that's a Mike Hernandez quote. He says, when you're painting, you got to paint like you're rich. So you have to use one whole bottle of cadmium um, yellow. But um, like you could paint super rich when you're like layering everything. But I think when you're initially um, blocking in, like when you're like trying to paint over your block in, that's when you start to go a little bit thicker. Yeah, Mike Hernandez is so funny. He's like, you know, for this one, you just got to paint thicker. Use that whole bottle. I'm like, okay. But my wa wallet can't handle it. <laughs> I was just about to ask that, but you don't have enough <laughs> money to buy these ma this much paint sometimes. <laughs> yeah. No, he's like so crazy. Like, I love his paintings because they look kind of like oil. So Mike Hernandez is a really good person to look at. If you guys are looking for gouache inspiration, this um, plain April. Oh, Gia paints like she's rich too. Like her paint is really thick. I think she's in this chat right now. Um, you guys can follow her on Insta. It, what? How important is it to have like specialty colors kind of so because I when I have my brights or like I'm trying to go brighter then I mix in white you know it desaturates it so I'm wondering if I need to like branch out slightly from a base palette to add some like I, I think um, light colors. you can try using some um you could try a limited palette first because that way it'll teach you how to um like micro wait so I can't hear because someone's typing but you can um, micro tweak the colors as you go. So um, like, I think Colin showed me this thing where Nathan Fox used four colors and he mixed this insane um, color palette. C Colin, can you like put it back into the um, special events chat? So it's uh, yeah. all about, yeah, thank you. It it's about like micro tweaking the colors. Um, you just have to add like very small amounts each time. So. Um, it's it's not Hi, about Angela. the specialty colors, yeah. What? Hi, Angela. This is Gia. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, I will, I couldn't talk uh, a minute ago. So <laughs> thanks for ignoring me. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I, ran, I ran upstairs just to say hi. Okay. <laughs> okay thank you. <laughs> yeah. So she's right here. She's really good. She's like one of those painters that paints super thick super. with two C's. So you guys should check out check out her paintings. Okay, and then one more thing, guys. Um, don't forget to put on sunblock so you don't become like me. I, I have a very interesting tan right now. So um, I, I call it a fashion statement, but yeah. I posted Gia's and Mike Hernandez's Instagram in the special chat. Thanks, Stephanie. Thank you so much. <laughs> friends will comment on my tan after I go plain air painting. <laughs> Oh, you're breaking up a little bit? What? I said all my friends will comment on my tan after I go plein air painting. <laughs> I know. Um, they just don't understand. We're like hardcore, okay? <laughs> um, so I'm starting to kind of block in this rock stuff. Kind of to separate. So you can see like wash is like so nice because you could just paint over your mistakes. How are you guys liking Plain April? Day three, woo! We're loving it, but I'm currently struggling with this pool because I, my colors aren't similar to yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Um, so for colors, just remember they're relative to your painting. Like, you might be trying to get the same mixtures as me, but um, it might look different on yours. So just make sure you adjust based off of the colors you have. Don't stress out. Okie doke. Okay, so the overcast is back. I'm going to start adding in that the other details. Someone unmuted. So is someone going to ask me a question? No. Okay. I was going to say, what do you do when your light source on the painting is uneven? Because right now, I have a light source from the left. And it's just messing up how I see the values in the painting, and I'm suffering. <laughs> um, just make sure you make it even, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Yeah, just just shift it. So like, um, I know sometimes people paint in the shade and eventually it ends up in the sunlight. So just try your best to um, either stay shaded or stay in the light. Um, the thing is, um, I heard this, I don't know if it's true, but they say that if you stay in the sun, sometimes the colors look super different when you scan it because the sunlight is just more intense than any light we have. So um, it's better if you stay within um, shadow. So yeah, like right now it's overcast for me, so it's not affecting me too much. But yeah, I, I hope that helps. Oh, my God, hi, I had a question. Yeah. Hi, um, I don't know if I'm the only oh. one, but I can't watch the live stream because it reached maximum like views. Um, I don't know if it's possible, could someone like also live stream like their screen like i don't know like you don't have to but like i was just wondering like if oh. someone could do that or well my 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 genius wife is so smart that she is streaming on youtube too so if you guys are having issues <gasps> oh. with the stream yeah you guys can go on the warrior painters um youtube and can someone drop the link in uh event chat oh my god thank you so much yeah i was like yeah, yeah, yeah. can't see anything no <laughs> yeah wait what's your name oh connie Okay, Connie, now you have to put a work in progress in work in progress now. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have to paint with me because you unmuted yourself. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> okay Thank okay, you cool. so much. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. It was Kiki. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's pooing right next to me. Oh. Mm. <laughs> See, this Good is job. the beauty of um, plein air painting. You just have these wonderful moments. Okay, so as you guys can see, like I'm the type of painter who, like I said, I'm figuring out these designs as I'm going. So um, I'm starting to add in these little details to remind me, like maybe I do want to add in the house because this feels a little bit too empty. Um, I'm adding these like weird poles because I think that would be like a good vertical element within my image. And then I kind of want to find something horizontal to add. So I am going to add in, ta-da this 
weird fence thingy. Okay, and then I want this um, directional element, so I'm just going to add this really poorly drawn perspective bench. And let's go. So, let me look at the image I sent to you guys. Um, hold on, give me one second. I'm trying to find it because I'm not that good with technology. Um, okay, so if you guys look at my image and you guys look at the pool, there's that ring around it that is um, like where there's not water filled, right? So um, if you look at the reflection, can anybody tell me, I guess, the type of temperature it is compared to the pool on the left side, like so right here? What would it be? Like it would be like a cooler tone, right? But when yeah. you squint your eyes, it's the same value. So that's the tricky part. Just remember all these little nuances when you're painting. Don't overcomplicate it because painting makes you cry. I've cried many, many nights. So I get it. And I'm trying to like fine tune it. So I really want that to stand out. How do I make that really, really stand out? Um, I will just have to make the color extra exaggerated, just like my personality. So I'm adding a little bit of purple. It will, it's going to dry it a lot darker. So don't forget that. This is the challenge and beauty of gouache. Since you, so there's so many people in this stream, um, I expect to see a lot of whips later um, inside the chat. Okay, guys. Wow, love the silence. Just okay. Joking, I know you. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thank you. I have the sickest whips. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it will be a whip, all right. <laughs> so, um, as you see, like I overpainted this part of the image. It's fine. Um, ooh, my neck is sweating. It's really hot. Also, don't forget to bring water when you guys are out painting because you're going to definitely get dehydrated. And oh, um, what's really important when you're plein air painting is a little spritzer bottle. So um, I got this one from Muji. It lasted like six years so far. So I feel like it's worth the money. Um, hold on. I'm going to drink some water. I hope you can't hear me gulp. Okay, so stay hydrated, sunblock. Okay, so right now I'm gonna add a little bit of green to the rim. <clears throat> you could mix your greens, which is, I don't usually put green in my palette just for that reason, because you could like easily mix them. Oh, my, my friend um, Nikita is in here too. Hi, Nikita. Hi, Nikita. <laughs> Bye, Nikita. Hi. Oh, um, so Nikita, yeah, yeah, yeah. She worked on Kipo with me and um, she's also a great designer, also painter. You guys should check out her work. Um, she recently started painting again, so I'd like to tell everybody to check out her Awesome, beautiful work. Oh my god. So I cannot stop. I have to keep painting. <laughs> Doesn't to... sound like a problem to me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the shout out. I'm yeah. going to keep going then. Yes. So we used to do like paintings every lunch um, when we were at DreamWorks together. But then the cruel world separated us. So we're at different studios now. But um, yeah, I hope I get to work with Nikita soon so we can paint together every lunch. A tale as old as time. Yeah, guys, get yourself a yeah. friend that puts me to paint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the best. Yeah, we had a really fun time on Kipo. Uh, kind of missed that crew a lot. Yeah. It's great that you push everyone to paint because that's how I started because I, I was always a line person. I was just designing. Oh, well, oh, you're yeah. really good at painting. So <laughs> thanks for painting too. I'm not sure about that, but I'll keep going. Yeah, keep going. Okay, so I'm starting to refine all these little shapes now. Um, 
you can see how like just this area, it creates something so interesting because of like the temperature shift. Um, I can push them more, but the light came out, so I'm not too sure what to do. So sometimes you kind of have to like be creative. Um, technically, the light shifts every um, 15 minutes. So um, I read a lot about Monet because he's one of my favorite painters. Um, some of you guys might not like his work, and I totally understand why. But he was kind of like a pioneer for plein air painting. Um, I thought it was really interesting because he would grab like seven canvases and just plain air seven different canvases like while he was out. And I was just like, can I be this man? And um, you, I'm sure you guys heard he went he became blind at one point and um, he still painted like, wow, the dedication, right? Makes me feel so lazy. <laughs> um, but I guess that's what happens when you really love something. Um, yeah, he, you guys should check out his story. He's he's really amazing. And he was one of the first people who really pushed like this new wave of plein air painting. Would you say that's impressive? <laughs> Wait, is that a pun? <laughs> what do you think? It's me saying it. <laughs> oh my God, yes. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> I get it now. I get it. Okay. <laughs> that, was that was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> oh, here Mar I thought I was making quite the impression. Okay. I'm oh, out. <laughs> no. So Mariana also did a really great um, talk uh, at Graphicsly, which is Clip Studio. You guys can find her talk on, um, I think, Kaylee, did you link it on the YouTube too? I don't know. Like Mariana or Kaylee? Um, it's, it's on Graphicsly. Uh, it's on my story. It's not really hard to find. <laughs> it's just like, okay, if you okay. just go on, on Graphicsly uh, YouTube, you can find it. Yeah, Mariana is great. You guys should definitely um, check out her work. And she works so hard. And she's so nice. I love her. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's only the truth. <laughs> oh, I'm going to blush. <laughs> yeah, I, I know a lot of you. Tent. <laughs> A lot of you guys are probably shy. Um, believe it or not, I'm an introvert. Wow, really, Angela? Yeah. But um, I, I feel like we meet a lot of really cool people on here. So um, plain air roll will get really, really hard halfway through. You guys should come on and chat with us because um, we could cry together. You know, you don't have to be alone on this journey. We could suffer and cry together. Celestial's on with us every night. <laughs> he, he understands. Um, Hi there. Yeah. <laughs> It's fun. Like you, you'll get to meet more people, and <clears throat> believe it or not, being an artist is oftentimes about the network you have. So uh, try your best to network and get to meet people. So um, I'm starting to add a little bit of detail for the pool top. Um, traditional plein air is a very slow process. Not that fun. Oh, it's only been 40 minutes, so it's not too bad. Um, but I guess my light's not coming back anymore. So I'll just have to um, figure out what I want to do. And I, I wanted to uh, thank you all um, from Warrior Painters. Like, thanks for participating. I know um, it's a really stressful event with a lot of rules, but um, I sometimes don't want to paint after work, but I see what you guys do. And I'm just like, if these people can paint, I'm going to do it too. And yeah, I pushed through it because of you guys. So thanks. Okay. Let's all keep painting together. Yeah, painting. Get it? <laughs> well, I'm not Mariana. I'm not good with puns, but yes. You can't have question. paint without pain. Yeah, what's up? Uh, what do you think about the phthalo colors? I mean, the phthalo pigment, pigments. Oh, I love the phthalo pigments. Um, I have a phthalo blue here, but... Um, they're so fucking strong. They're way too strong sometimes. Like, yeah, yeah, I love using them in my oils, but it's weird. I don't necessarily like using them in my wash. Hmm. So, hmm. I, I think because in oils, when you're mixing, you could just like paint a really big, you could mix a big puddle and then you can keep reusing them because they don't dry. But for gouache, you have to constantly mix it. And because it's so powerful, it's so difficult to get the same tone. But um, I, I like it a lot. I, I use it for like 
greens. Like I, I had a whole bunch of yellow and just a tiny molecule of that, and it makes a really nice green. Oh um, yeah, phthalo green is like one of my favorite colors for oil. So yeah, yeah, that's a good that's a good mention. I totally forgot. Um, here's the palette I'm using today. Uh, it's really dry and gross. <laughs> a lot of colors. Yeah, but um, I mostly just focus on like these yellows, these blues, um, the burnts, the white and black. Sometimes I dip into these, but not really. Oh, I also use like, this is the opera, I think opera pink from Windsor Newton and then um, alizarin. So um, sometimes I do have a lot of colors, but I don't touch a lot of them. Sorry, I'm gonna- It doesn't look it. that gross to me. Oh, I haven't opened my paint box in a while, so. Um, a, a trick that uh, my friend Kim taught me was to add some clove oil into your spritzer bottle so it will prevent the mold from growing in your, uh, in your palette box. And it, um, I've been doing that ever since she's told me, and it's been helping me so much. I don't have to switch out the paint. I used to get, like, I have to wear, like, a mask before because the paint smells so bad. <laughs> and I feel like I was getting, like, mold poisoning. <laughs> When I painted, quick question about your the clove oil. I've heard uh, using uh, rubbing alcohol, like a quarter to the full amount of your spray bottle. How much clove oil do you put in? I just put like two drops. Oh, okay. And it smells okay. so much better because I used to do the alcohol thing too. Mm -hmm. So um, I really just check it out. Um, hopefully, it works for you. And uh, another question is, if I I traveled and I left my palette at home. And uh, even though it wouldn't mold while using it, molded over during that time, do you do something in the interim if you're not painting all the time? Yeah. So um, actually, I drop in a drop of clove oil into these each time. Oh, okay. So um, that I I do it every single time I clean it. So it actually hasn't molded ever since I used the clove oil. So it's been nice. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know if it's gonna stay like archival or permanent? If you have the clove oil, because like maybe in five years it starts to like turn red mm. or something. I don't know because I just started using it. I'll, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> That's a good point, though. I didn't think about that. Angela, when you add the clove oil, do you actually mix it in with the paints or just drop it on top? Um, I mix it in. So I use like a toothpick and then I mix it. Do you use clove oil, Stephanie? I have it in one eye palettes, but I think I put too much in. It's like a tiny palette, and it smells really bad because I had it oh, too much. Oh, shit. So, <laughs> yeah, I need to rectify that somehow. I just <laughs> put it in a bag and put it in a corner somewhere at the moment. You're like, out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> yeah, so I have another palette that I haven't added the clove oil because I was afraid <laughs> it would stink up or add too much, but I think I just need to dilute it. Yeah, just do a drop, and then I think it should be fine. I don't know how much you added, but I just add a drop each time. Yeah, I think I added like two or three, which is oh, probably way overkill. Yeah, and there, it's the <laughs> tinier um, wells as well as not like the as large as the wells that you have. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just be careful <laughs> not to uh, clove oil poison yourself with the smell because it does get really intense. Ow, my legs. Let me let me stretch a little bit. Oh, okay. How's everybody's painting? Sh drop it in um, special events chat. Let's check check it out. I don't have my phone on me. I can't do that. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, later then. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm trying to figure out with the least amount of strokes how to make things read. That's another thing I like to do when I'm plain air painting. Efficiency and economy, brush economy. Whoa, nice celestial. I'm wow, struggling Mariana, on the nice rock plant. now. Oh, it's okay. It's looking good. It's looking good. Oh, thank you. Wow. You guys should be doing the demo. Okay. So even for the rocks here, I'm just going to focus on the temperature shifts.
Oh, who loves painting overcast lighting that with a little bit of sunlight? Not me. <laughs> Kay Kaylee woke up this morning and she's like, oh my God, it's overcast. I'm like, it's overcast with sunlight. She's like, okay, good luck. <laughs> but I'm not doing the demo. That's the problem with um, UK plein air, plein air <laughs> sessions. You say 15 <laughs> minutes. I say two. <laughs> <laughs> and you're lucky if it doesn't rain on you. <laughs> oh my God. I can't imagine. It rains on me today. Oh, <laughs> well, Seattle. It started out just like misty, so then I didn't have to spray my hair, which was just nice. <laughs> but then it started out. Man, that does suck. <laughs> uh, I don't like the drought in California, but I guess it makes painting a little bit easier. Okay. So, still mixing with my color puddles, just adding in a little bit of the fence. Because I want that red difference in here. Um, I'm going to see if I could cover this up because that's kind of ugly. So this is actually a place where like clean water would be nice, but I don't have clean water. Oh. Every single time I use this big brush, I bump in. Kaylee's going to get mad at me. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, so... I'm just gonna cover it. It was kind of greenish earlier, so. Hey, Connie, are you still here? Uh oh. Um, Angela, could I ask a question? Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, hey, Kofi. <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? <laughs> Great, that was great. I realized, like, looking at the reference image, right, uh -huh. the colors are not as saturated as you you, you are painting it. And mm -hmm. I was wondering, is this a willful decision you make uh, to, like, wait, yes, I am. <laughs> question? Oh, okay, hey, Connie, I'll, I'll talk to you after. Um, you the question. No, how are you? There's a bit of delay, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, no, so, um, Kofi, uh, it actually is... I, I think when you're looking in person, it looks kind of different. So um, it really just depends. Like, it's really saturated. It looks like a clown house. Um, so, um, look, I don't know what colors they chose, like le neon yellow. But um, it is pretty saturated. But, yes, I also um, sometimes push it a little bit more. Because I, I just feel like it's more interesting um, if you wanted to, like, just look make it look like real life i feel like just take a picture it probably might look better you know if you wanted to go exactly mm -hmm. so just all of hyper realism right now yeah yeah so um i'm trying to like i guess abstract it a little bit and then um exaggerate it exactly yeah okay thank you yeah So I made it super, um, I don't even know what color this is. So th this is kind of the other thing about painting. Um, once you're starting like these final adjustments, things might look kind of, uh, they're not right once you fix one area. So what you have to do is you kind of have to, like once you tweak this area, you kind of have to come back in here and tweak this red. Um, it's a very, very <sighs> painful journey. Oh, that's way too dark. So um, I like using crinacridone. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, red. I really don't think... Um, my my son is going away anymore. <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. Uh, but like also, I said, remember when you're painting, stay stubborn and um, focus on the lighting you want. Oh, yes, sorry? I was just going to ask, uh, also, when you're painting, 
to help you see like the large masses of like value or tone do you like sometimes huh? squint yeah yeah i'm actually i didn't squint that much this time but thanks for reminding me yes be sure to squint a lot okay so when you squint, you can find the big picture of what you're trying to state. Um, I guess if you look at the image itself, that yellow, the clown house yellow is actually um, the main focus. But um, I'm going to add the most detail here to hopefully make this the most interesting part. And um, I add that detail last. So it's about that final finessing stage. But block in everything big first. So mixing in my color puddle. Angela? Uh -huh. Angela, what is it like having a pool in Southern LA again? Uh, I feel like I'm wasting a lot of water. <laughs> but it's, it's nice because um, I have severe back problems. So sometimes uh, swimming really helps me. Heck yeah. Yeah, so um, I don't make it go to waste, so it's nice. <laughs> Thank you for answering my miscellaneous and mundane question. Oh my god, yes. You're welcome, Celeste. Okay, god, the sun is finally gone, guys. I'm so happy. Okay, you can only pray to the cloud gods to cover up the sun. <laughs> All right, let's focus on the pool now. God, I've been waiting to do this. So now you kind of have to use a little bit of like value and temperature to make these um, areas pop out. And I know a lot of people hate painting overcast because there's not that much color, but it's a really good challenge. So if you guys ever want a challenge and you guys see a sad, depressing sky, just go out and paint it. You'll learn a lot, I promise. But you'll kind of maybe hate yourself a little bit while you're at it. Painting overcast is easy. Painting really? a sunny day with clouds and the light kind of shifts every five or so minutes. That's the challenge. And that's what I had to do yesterday. Oh, damn. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> I guess for me, overcast is harder, but I'm glad it's easy for some of you guys. So I'm just kind of like breaking up the shapes within the water now. Um, the reflectivity will definitely help you make it look more interesting. So just focusing on those like micro color breaks. And you can see I'm like just using a big brush because I don't care. Um, I don't know exactly how reflections work, but I could imagine it's like the angle of how you're looking at the object, like the water surface and the cert like the objects that are re being reflected in. It's like that angle. Um, so since I don't understand it, I'm just going to exaggerate it and make it interesting by um, painting random colors. Where are my Shirako workshop buddies at? Can you guys explain reflections? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. Well, I need to go back and like reference the materials again. It was okay, okay. really cool. But, yeah, hey, yeah reflections are... Oh, hi, Ari. <laughs> Ari's um, viral on TikTok, so you guys can oh follow. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> 50,000 views. Wow. Woo woo. I'm at 60 now. I'm just kidding. Oh my God. Yeah, her pizza eating one is the most popular. Okay, you guys can see, like, um, I also kind of like to start um, where it's a little bit more desaturated, and then you can kind of like push the saturation up a lot more. It's really hard when. Um, well, sometimes for digital painting, I guess I go super crazy and super saturated. But um, yeah, for traditional, I like to build up to it. I like it. I like playing the long game with 
traditional. Oh yeah, don't don't forget to tag me. I'd love to share your paintings, guys. Uh, like and subscribe. Thank you. So um, as you can see, so when you're squinting your eyes, the values kind of still read as one. And it's the same thing when you're looking at the photo reference. So um, squint, 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 like what Kofi said. Also, Kofi's a really great artist too. You guys should check out his work. Um, I'm actually working with him right now and he's a very big bundle of joy. I love Kofi. <laughs> Thank you. <I> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're awesome, Kofi. Bye, yeah, bye. he is. Follow him on Instagram. <laughs> Yeah, he's a really good character artist. Um, don't paint environments because you'll steal my job. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, Kofi, have you painted environments before and posted them? I can't. I don't remember for some reason. I painted once. I did a study of a like a a scene in Japan. Ooh. But yeah, I need to practice more. Heck yeah. <laughs> Yes, so you can steal, steal Angela's car. job. Yes, 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 steal it, steal it. <laughs> no way, no way. <laughs> so, so you guys can see I'm slowly like adding these color notes. Um, doesn't have to make sense because you know what? Like I just don't understand uh, reflections. It's cool. You don't have to understand everything in life, do you? I don't know. It'd be nice, right? But um, so I'm having different like strokes. This is probably a good place where you start to organize your strokes. And right now I'm kind of watching the water ripple. You could kind of see it here, right? So it's kind of like it's going in perspective, right? I love perspective again. So the vanishing point is going this way. And you can see the ripples kind of like following that same perspective line. So I'm going to do that. When, when I can't make sense of anything, I just focus on perspective. And then I try to reinforce those, that information. Which reminds me, if anybody's interested, I'm going to be teaching my background design class um, summer time. So uh, follow Warrior Art Camp for more info. Okay. So I think no. this is... Oh, sorry? Sorry. I was going to say, uh, must warn people that you will develop a tiny Angela that sits on your <laughs> shoulder and tells you to draw through stuff and that your ellipses are shit. <laughs> and to have a check of scale. Like, there's yes. no going back from that. <laughs> Just be aware. <laughs> Once you see it, you can't unsee it, guys. <laughs> yep, it changes you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, all of my students are really cool. Um, Mariana was one of them. And she's just, yeah, I can't say enough good things about Mariana. Um, and Taylor, right? Taylor's not my student. She doesn't oh, want to do that. <laughs> my mistake. She's just my son. <laughs> when you said your son left, I didn't think the son, I, th I thought Taylor, like, what has Taylor done? <laughs> oh my goodness, me too. <laughs> oh my god, that's just me then. <laughs> wow, you guys, I'm not that obsessed with Taylor. <laughs> but she is your child, your son. Yeah, she's my son. I had her when I was so young. <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. She's not my actual son, and she's a, she's a girl. <laughs> She's just our little, our amazing little, I was going to say gremlin, but that's a, that, that is really mean, I think. <laughs> no, she calls herself a basement dwelling um, gremlin, so it's fine. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, we love Taylor here. <laughs> yeah, Taylor's so funny. Um, I'm just starting to add a little bit more of the planes. Um, although it is overcast, you should still see some of the plane shifts because it does react to light. And uh, this is usually the time where I bring my canvas down, but I can't because we're recording. Um, I'm using, so I switch between round and flats. I'm not like Tommy Kim. I don't know how he uses that fan brush, but uh, damn. I saw it, I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna be cool too. And then I tried, I'm like, holy shit, I'm staying away from that brush. So in overcast, That's what I did too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like, I could do. I it. tried. Uh, yeah, when I saw Tommy's <laughs> brush, then I was thinking, oh, that's how he made the texture. Then I bought a, a fan brush too. I only used it once, and I like removed. 
<laughs> I'm like, uh, I'll stick to round and flat. Oh yeah, Gia teaches a really great um, gouache class too, if you guys are interested in gouache painting. Is that posted? Thanks. Oh, sorry? Is that posted somewhere, the class? Oh, um, so you can go to warriorartcamp.com or um, Kaylee, if you could drop it in. It's air, um, Gia, so when are you going to teach again? <laughs> wow. Uh, this awesome. May? Oh, cool. Dang. Yeah, it sells out uh, fast, guys. We're, <laughs> we're doing Play April this month, um, and I'm doing it too. And so after the Play April, I'll start teaching again. <laughs> nice. After I die for a month, I'm going to start teaching again. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I rebirth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Play April is always like, oh, my God, I have to do so much stuff. And then afterwards, you're like, I have so much time. I'm going to go eat Korean barbecue. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But I think it's really helping me this year, the plan, bro. Like, I try to force myself to do sunrise planner. And then I want to say it's really a good practice. It's a really I good practice. Like, yeah. Yeah. The first two days, I was so scared because, like, everything changed so fast for sunrise. Yeah. Sunrise is so and, scary. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like maybe after I learn how to do this, I'm not scared of other things anymore because I don't think other things change as fast. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like for um, me, Plain Airball teaches me how to not care about social media as much because um, I know that, like, at least for me, maybe um, I have, like, a lot of pressure. I'm like, oh, my God, if I don't post something that I like, like, people are going to think that I'm, like, a bad artist, blah, 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 blah. But um, you know, nobody has nobody paints well every day. We have our bad days, so I, I like that about plain April too. Yeah, the first uh, sense that I did, like I really didn't like it, but like I have to post it anyways. <laughs> yeah, you just get over it. So I think that's like super cool. Yeah, and I feel like this morning I finally start to like enjoy the more. like I finally getting it, like how sunrise works. So like I feel like maybe after thirty days. I'll get better at it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe you're waking up so early to do those. That's crazy. Yeah, um, I'll see how, if I can do it for 30 days. I feel like <laughs> I can. Um, since the first couple days should be the hardest, right? <laughs> oh, it takes 21 days to fix your habits. So, ooh, look at B. The 30 days uh, challenge is perfect. Yeah, yeah. You, you can... Um, change your bad habits so i'm trying to sleep early but kaylee keeps watching 25 21 so i can't and then yeah. she joined me on the sunrise painting it really helps like you know one of the reasons i i wanted to use sunrise theme for pony april just to change my habit oh that's kind of um, smart just to force myself to get up early so that i have to start uh, sleep early I, I really and... like <laughs> camping so um usually when i camp that's when i fix my sleeping schedule but um, yeah, because I sleep at like 10 and I woke, wake up at 6. It's really nice. I, I Why camping. do you sleep at 10 when you're camping? Because there's nothing else to do. There's no light. I can't see anything. And I don't want a bear to eat me. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm adding in the waves. Or, or not waves. Sorry, the ripples. If, if my pool had waves, I'd be scared. <laughs> so... Remember, like, you guys can always find, like, a focal point by choosing something simple, like this wall, against something that's more complex. Oh, another really good water painter is Lena Rivo, because she lives in Portugal, and she's just, like, the bomb.com at Waves. Oh, my goodness, yeah. Her, her paintings of beaches are, like, how does, I, I'm always, like, how the heck does one person do this? I know. When I see artists like that, I'm just, like, I'm going to buy a painting from you because I know later on it's going to be worth a lot of money. <laughs> yes. Yes. Also, you can look, you can study their techniques and try to copy them. Exactly. It's a devious way to think of it. <laughs> but it's, it's the truth. <laughs> you, you, we learn from each other, right? So it's fine. 
like I, I look at um, Gia's paintings. Um, I look at Nikita's. I look at Mariana's. We all learn from each other. It's great. Thank you so much from you too, Angela. <laughs> Thank you. Amanda loves starting to paint, so can't wait to see more, Amanda. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's um, uh, Aries' famous quote. So I, I steal a lot of her um, lingo because she's just like cool. So, um, so I'm, oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. No, no, I was just going to say earlier, you were saying like you learned from other artists' work. And I was wondering at this point in your journey as an artist, do you like do master studies to kind of assimilate? stuff from other artists work you know from. Gia's trying to get me to do some master studies and I think I should get back into it um <laughs> I think you can always learn but um I think just work has got me so preoccupied I'm so tired but yeah. I, I would like to get into it again yes so. yes join me Angela okay okay I will I'm gonna call you in the morning <laughs> just just not at eight o'clock <laughs> I, I'm just waking up at eight o'clock, so. So I'm starting to like micro break down everything. So like you guys could see my process, it's very big to small. Um, it's, yeah, it's a lot of like finessing, I guess. Uh, don't forget to spray your paints. And um, like I said, I probably will take this inside because the light will probably, the sun seems like it'll come out again. <laughs> okay, so I'm mixing my uh, greens right now. I'm using ultramarine, um, lemon yellow for the little plants on the side. I just want a little bit of like green in my image. So just gonna group them as big shapes. Just, just mark them for there. I, I'll fix it when I go back. Oh, and I like that really weird green bucket. I mean, the yellow bucket that's like diagonal. So that's a nice pop of color. Haley always asks me like, oh, why do you add in such weird things? I'm like, I'm just a weird person. And she's like, okay, but you make it work in the end. So thanks, babe. Love you. Do I talk about Kaylee too much? Well, I really love her. She's awesome. So, so I'm just going to add a little bit of that yellow. So another thing that I like to kind of do is um, I like to have colors that kind of relate to each other. So if I put a yellow there, I'll probably add some somewhere else. And then um, what color should I make? The bottom of the brown part make it purple okay purple here we come oh my god look at my hand it's so shaky okay cool <sighs> that wasn't too bad do you guys get ever, like get nervous doing stuff like that sometimes i do it's hi angela hello drink water your hand is <laughs> shaking oh okay okay is that why it's shaking i'm dehydrated Yes. Who is this? <laughs> Gunja. Hi, Gunja. <laughs> okay, I drank water. Thank you, Gunja. <laughs> Gunja is also a really great artist. Um, he has. You have a new baby, right? So it's. But you're still yeah. painting. <laughs> yes, I'm going out and painting. I'm oh, like. God. I am trying to make myself go out every day. Do you like it? <laughs> yeah, it is you're fun. I, I yesterday I experienced more rain and snow together. <laughs> what on your painting? Yes, yes. That's so I, crazy. <laughs> I, I, my painting is ruined. But yeah, I, I made it. <laughs> you made it. You made it. You're, you're really dedicated. So I really admire that. Thank you. I'm just uh, um, stuck in the house because of this newborn. So I, this year I decided, no, I will go out 
this you're is like the reason. <laughs> this is my time to shine. <laughs> yeah. That's good. I'm glad you're doing it. Your paintings are always really great too. So uh, thanks I'm for doing kidding. it. Although you're so busy. No, busyness is always be there, you know, for everyone. <laughs> we <laughs> just have to do it. If we like it, we should do it. Yeah, yeah. Damn, you're so dedicated. I should stop complaining because like being a mom is a full-time job. <laughs> <laughs> That's like 20 full-time jobs in one full-time job. You know what I mean? Yeah. It is don't, crazy. Yeah. Don't forget to thank your mom, guys. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. So um, if I were outside right now, I think this is kind of like a suitable amount of, oh my gosh, my dogs are crazy. <laughs> like this is kind of like a suitable amount of details. Like, and I could just, Oh my god, I can't take what they're barking, so I'm gonna wait for them to stop. <laughs> Kaylee's yelling at them. Oh, okay. They, they she said you can't hear them. So um I, I start to like kind of mark some things that I want. So I'm just um kind of reminding myself, like, okay, there's a little spout here. Maybe it'd be interesting to add a little bit of color. Here's like two little dark spots that might kind of help break out, break up this big shape. Um, I want to add this line here. Um, then I kind of solidify this part. So I, I'm going to clean up the shapes a little bit more here. Yeah, sometimes I like to finish my paintings um, on site, but the light keeps changing, so it's a little bit difficult for me. So I'm just going to um, mark up these little details and notes so I can take it back to my desk to finish it. And I'll upload it later. But um, do you guys have any questions about the process or anything? Hello. We have Hello. Uh, one question. I'm yeah. uh, just wondering like, if you ever like, struck over your brush and your water, because I, I noticed like, after a while, like, my water just like gets super muddy and just like make all my color like, super muddy as well. Like, uh, I, mm -hmm. Yeah, I always have like, you know, like like hundreds of brush with me. I don't think that's like the most efficient way. <laughs> so I was wondering like, if you like okay. have any like- Let me show you my brushes. <laughs> I mean, I had this oh, many no. brushes, but I didn't use them. So <laughs> I, I actually focused on three brushes. So um, I guess the best way you could do it is here. Um, Let me show you guys kind of, so I have this cup here. Um, my friend Mark made me the stand and um, just wash it really thoroughly. And it's kind of like oil. You can't always like use turp to wash off your paint, right? So um, I have a paper towel kind of hanging on the side and I wipe it really, really clean. So I, I think like you could just kind of get it wet a little bit and then you just wipe it. So it's clean. And then you just dip it again into the water so it's moist so you can pick up the colors on your palette. Okay. I hope that, yeah. Um, I think that might help the most. Okay, here we try that. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Good luck. Um, okay, now it's time for me to judge you guys. So drop your stuff in the special events chat and let's have a look. I'm excited. I could probably change my screen. Um, okay, well, I'll wait for you guys to post while I add a few more details. Uh, does anybody do this too, where they draw on top of their painting? Yes, um, <laughs> when I do it traditionally. Nice. Yeah, nice. I do it too. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yes. Was someone going to ask something or? Yeah, Angela, I have a question. Okay. Um, um, when you start to paint, how do you frame what you're going to to paint? Like, when I go outside and I like try to to focus on something, I just mm -hmm. can't like stop seeing everything that is around that I want to draw, and I is it completely mess? So, uh, how do you do it, or what what do you recommend, or I don't know, like something. That is such a good question. And I was actually going to talk about that, but I forgot. So thank you, Steph. Thank you. Um, 
what I do is basically um, I grab my two hands and then I make kind of like a frame and then I kind of just like put it against my head and then I like against my face. Here, let me just switch the thing. So hi guys. I, I basically just put it in my front of my face and I just like close one eye and then I look out to kind of frame it and then basically have almost similar proportions to um, what you guys want to do. Um, so you kind of have an idea. That way it really helps simplify it. Um, and that gives you a little bit more of like pre-planning, if that makes sense. I hope that answers your question. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Angela, your timeless uh, time lapse has been stopped. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Um, I just needed to turn it off to so you guys can see my face real quick. <laughs> um, but thanks. Yeah, these all these um, demos that we're going to be doing, they're volunteer, and we're going to be posting them on YouTube. So if you guys did miss the beginning of it, don't worry. Kaylee recorded them, and it will forever live on the internet, I think. So I'm um, just adding a few more random, my, my dragon fruit, please fruit this year. Um, yeah, but I think that's kind of about it for me. Um, this is kind of usually the stage I like to take things home or just leave it because I'm lazy. Um, and yeah. Let me see what you guys posted. Let me switch screen streams really quick. I'll change windows. Oh, oh, okay. Go live. Cool. So, um, Mariana did this really cute painting. Beautiful. Nice dramatic lighting. Good luck painting the shadows. Celestial, this is uh, looking really good. I love how you got the reflection. And um, just don't forget to squint because I feel like they're still kind of the same value, but you're making the this side a little bit too light. So maybe just darken it a little bit so it separates the pool from the rocks. Thank you. Ashley, this is looking really good. I, I like how you indicated the ripples. I might steal some of that from you. Awesome. I, I kind of like how you made this side like watery too. It looks wavy. Nice. Wait, let me Thank stop you. my timer. Yeah, good job, Ashley. Um, painted marmalade. Um, this is looking cool. I like it. Oh, it feels so cool. It looks like it's going to rain. Good job. Um, Michelle, this is looking cool too. Um, this, this, um, yellow might be a little bit too warm. So just cool it down. So it feels more overcast, but all the other colors are working really well. Aiden, this looks really cute. I love the wild flowers. Nice. Lynn. Cool. Cool. 20 minutes. That's really good for 20 minutes. Um, maybe you could start painting a little bit thicker now so you can start layering the colors but it's looking great. Amanda, this is not my pool, so I'm not gonna comment, I'm just joking. <laughs> is this the one where it's rained on you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Looks great though, I like it. I like how you use pink under painting. It's an experiment that I liked. Yeah, some people, sometimes I use pink too, but um, sometimes it's really intense, but it looks good. French platypus, this looks great. Um, the yellow feels really nice against the sky. So can't wait to see you finish it. Awesome. Ooh, Karina, this is looking really good. I like what you did with the water. Like um, this is probably a really successful case of using like temperature and hue shifts at to indicate water. Good job, Karina. Thank you. Yay. Um, wow, Mina, uh, try hard much. But <laughs> I like the greens. I like your sky a lot. And um, once again, she's using a pink undertone. So um, don't worry about the color that you guys use as a base. I feel like it's just your personal preference. Um, people can tell you what's right or wrong, but as long as it's working for you, that's all that matters. And um, this is looking really good too. 10 scribbles. I like it a lot. Um, so you are using it kind of like a traditional painting where you're giving it an orange undertone. It's looking great. Um, kind of like your... Uh, Palm trees, they look like pineapples, it's cute. <laughs> and Franklin, 
Ooh, nice. Very cool. Looks like watercolor. I kind of like it. Um, yeah, so I hope this kind of helped you guys out. And um, thanks for participating in this stream. Uh, just remember, if you guys are using, using traditional medium, be more patient with yourself and just keep trying your best. Don't stress out too much. And um, post this later. I'd love to see what you guys did with it. And just great job, everyone. Thank you, guys. Sorry if I rambled uh, way too much. <laughs> but thanks for your time. And uh, I'm going to finish this painting so you guys don't make me look too bad. Okay? <laughs> see ya later. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. See ya. Great. Bye. Thank you.